All right, that was the string cheese incident with Restless Wind from the infamous Woodstock 99. And you know, part of the reason this episode happened was because of a post in the Facebook group Jam Grass Junkies, and that was done by my friend Adam from Baltimore. And he asked, is string cheese still considered by anyone to be a jam grass band? And while I agree with the consensus in that community that no, string cheese hasn't been a jam grass band for a long time, I thought it was appropriate to look back towards their origins and show how they definitely did incorporate the grassier elements of music when they were finding their style. Now, in the 70s and 80s, the New Grass Revival took those same grassy elements and were kind of the first to add the bold rock elements of that generation, and that's why I had to include them alongside the David Grisman Quintet as some of the forefathers of the jam grass genre. Up next on Bill's Bluegrass Breakdown, I've got a couple songs plus an interview with one of the biggest names in jam grass in the 21st century. And for that, let's go to our reporter in the field at Wakarusa 2005 with the introduction. <laughs> 